Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my little corner of the internet where I talk about whatever I want, which is mostly movies and TV. Hi, this intro is too long, I need to find something else. Whatever. Today I want to talk about the movie Hell Dogs. Hell dog, I'm gonna be honest with you, there were two reasons, and basically only two reasons, for why I wanted to watch this movie, and those are Junichi Okada and Miyavi. Yeah, okay. So, generally speaking, I'm not a big Yakuza movie person, especially not the serious Yakuza movies. I like comedy Yakuza, where they're like, oh, we're the good Yakuza, we don't sell drugs or guns, we only deal with, you know, human trafficking and loans. It's a whole thing, but I prefer those <laughs> over the serious Yakuza stuff. So, having said that, I wasn't really planning on watching this movie, but like I said, Junichi Okada and Miyavi, that's like... If it was only one of them, I would skip it, but both, it was too hard for me to just pass out. So, what is this movie anyway? Right, Hell Dogs stars, for the millionth time, Junichi Okada. He plays a former police officer that gets recruited back into the police in order to infiltrate the Yakuza, and he needs to do that by befriending their most psychopathic member. So he does, as you can imagine by just the little description. It's a very gritty, very bloody, very violent movie. It has really good pacing and it looks really good. I, I enjoyed watching this movie. I, and on top of that, it also has really good acting. I apologize for my voice. I've been dying for two weeks and it's not going out <laughs> away. So next up, um, Miyavi, he plays the Yakuza boss. So he's, you know, moving up in life. Good for you, Miyavi. Honestly, I do think it's pretty funny that Miyavi's acting career is like 99% bad guys. The only movie I know he plays a good guy in was Maleficent 2, which I never watched. And it's just, it's kind of funny. Is it the tattoos? Is it his height? What is it that people insist on casting him as the bad guy? It might be like a personal choice. Miyavi just enjoys playing bad guys. He, in this particular movie, doesn't do anything spectacular, but also it's definitely not his worst performance either. I'm looking at you, Kate. That was offensive and borderline homophobic, but you know. So yeah, he, he does a good job here. It's not the most memorable, but it's not terrible either. There are some, speaking of like the plot, there are some, a bunch of like double crosses and raising the stakes midway through the operation, which I think are pretty standard for the genre, but they do make it a bit hard to keep track of what's going on. This is why I tend to not be interested in undercover cop movies so much. I struggle with keeping the plot straight. But yeah, you get some pretty good action scenes and there are some pretty interesting plot points that give the story a more unique take. My two main issues were, and they might be considered spoilery, so skip ahead to this time if you don't want to know anything else about the movie, okay? Okada's character, he left the police originally to seek revenge on the people who robbed a supermarket where the girl he liked worked and she and a bunch of other women who worked there died. Now I'm saying girl and not woman because he was a police officer and she was a high school student. That's not great. But that's not even the main issue I have. My issue here is that he's already broken bad if you will, right? He's killed all these people. He has sought revenge and succeeded. So there's no, by the time, you know, the police recruits him back, there's no big moral quandary about him infiltrating the Yakuza and like, you know, the idea of corruption of the soul or becoming a bad person because for the greater good, the greater good. which is a main staple in these types of movies, right? You have the cop go undercover and you have the moral dilemma of like, is it worth doing all these drugs or killing all these people in the name of the greater good? The greater good. Shut it! So here there's no real issue. He's done all of this. Like he's already gone. So... And then my second issue is with Moodle, the psychopath. And he, he did a really good job. And But like they tell you 
that he's unhinged and all that stuff but honestly when you watch him in the movie he doesn't come off as any worse than any of the other characters his character is more interesting than th that label and he's actually quite a sympathetic character so it was a really interesting little take i i don't know why they had to describe him as a psychopath it really shouldn't bother me as much but it's also like it's it's a part of the official plot description so they make it sound like it's this big hurdle befriend the psychopath and it's like the easiest step Okada's character has to take like they become BFFs instantly to be fair to the plot like to the story they mention that like their personalities will match but they use the word psychopath and I don't think it means what you think it means you keep using the word I don't think it means what you think it means so yeah, okay, no more spoilery takes. Overall, I think that if you like this type of movie, action with undercover cops and Yakuza Underworld, all of that, you won't be disappointed. I enjoyed the movie overall, and while writing, you know, while I was writing this review, it made me think that maybe I will rewatch it in the future and try and figure things out a bit more. I think too many things went over my head, which is what dampened my enjoyment the first time around. So yeah that's that's my take if you like that type of movie you'll definitely like this one as well and if you're interested in you know dipping your toes into this type of movie go right ahead i i don't think it's a bad time at all um so yeah have you watched hell dogs are you planning to do you have actors that you will watch almost anything for who are they please let me know in the comments below and i'd appreciate if you give this video a like or you subscribed and did all the youtubey things so thanks again, and I'll see you next time. Bye!